Hello, my name is Farman, and welcome to episode 17 of our Let's Play on Sandy Bay Farm. Uh, so, today is the muck out day of the cow shed. All the straw is gone. Hello, cow, get out of the way. All the straw has gone, so I thought we'll give it a quick scrape out whilst there's nothing in the shed. Well, whilst there's no straw. Um, the contract work's about finished. So we're getting near the end of that. We just need to put down a placeable thingy of ob that is free. Uh, I don't know which end to have it though. I think there's a good choice. Uh, so we're getting a muck spreader at some point. Now I, hopefully this will work with that. I, I haven't tested it. If not we'll have to do it the, old, the other way in actually. And actually, uh, that's because that's on. Is it? Why do you not want to back up? Oh, there we go. That's why. Uh, so let's scrape. So we're just gonna s just keep scraping up and down, and then right, right at the end, sort of lift. So we will need the hood on for this. Uh, what does it say? It's B to empty. Uh, yes, it is making a pile there. It's making a pile and also it's trying to refill itself. So if we hold down B till it's gone, there you go, that's it gone. Drive back up to the top. Yeah, reverse back down. Now that does mean we'll be either renting or buying a muck spreader this episode. Or maybe after we've done the um, canola fields which we need to go out and spray, so we'll probably be spraying after this. But I wanted to get this done, so I can get these things rebedded at some point. Forward. Oh, is it stuck? Right, let's let it take some down. Our trusty little 698 Massey for scraping out. Now, I did say there'd be a straw pole in this episode. I don't think there's going to be because I've recorded these on the same day. And I haven't actually got round to it. So, sorry about that. It'll probably be a, maybe episode 18. Will be the day that I... Right, let's, let's try and get near here. get these scraped out here. This is only so we can put some fresh straw down and they'll be uh, they'll be okay. Let's turn the hood off, we don't need that. So I'm putting in a placeable heap here because it means when we get the muck spreader we can come in fairly close Ish, and then just load it up and just go. Oh, that doesn't have any manure in it still. But like I said, uh, it's going to be a lot of. It'll be a lot of it will go on to some very smaller fields. Uh, a few smaller fields. Maybe we'll put some on field 8 or maybe even a couple of grass fields just to get them going again. Or we might just leave it and wait till we muck out again. Which I think would be the best bet because then we'll have quite a bit and not just a small amount. Uh, I think that's filled up into it. Yeah. 
our trusty little Massey. That means we can go get some bales of straw and start to rebed them. This scraper is on mod hoster. Or it was when I when I downloaded it. It was on mod hoster, so I don't know where it'd be now. Here, press B. Come on, empty. Uh, what else? We've got to take that John Deere to the pigs and beef because that's got all the size bales for them. And then, what else have we got to take over? I don't think there's anything else to really take over there. Right, let's sort of scrape here. We can't do behind the pens because the tractor doesn't go around them very easy. And that thing just makes you spin. It actually makes this tractor very light on the front end. Oh look, they walk over the pile. Is that actually going up? Yes it is. I'm not just pouring it on the floor. Come on. Oh, yeah. How much is still here? Oh, 7,200. Jesus. There was a lot of manure in here. So, look, it just makes you want to. It, it seems like it's just been lowered. It's lift up. Lift up and put it down. Oh, I'm assuming this manure heap slowly being filled up. We will get out and check it in a bit. Come on. Oh, let's just quickly jump out. Come on, cow. So there is 24,000 litres there. Which is actually pretty good. We want... We, we want to try and aim f at least get a full pile there. At least. Before we go out muck spreading, otherwise we'll run out about halfway through. We can go out and do some slurry at some point. Um, we also need to make some more hay bales as well. We're kind of running a bit low. Now that should be it. That should be the cow scraped out or cleaned out. Uh, we could have gone for the approach of put it in a trailer. Well, no, we could have gone for the approach, just scoop it out with the bucket on the front of this thing. And <sighs> right, so let's put this back in the shed, this scraper. And then we'll go fetch two hay bales, well, straw bales, and uh, get this thing on the way. Let's put the weight on. Let's hook up to that. Let's get out. Clink. That's an easier way of doing it. If something won't attach, go get the manual attacher mod. Um, if you ever get stuck and something won't reattach, manual attacher mod will make it attach. No matter how far away. Well, if it's if it's within range, but not within range of the um, actual in-game trigger to attach stuff to it, you can actually get it to work that way. Now we may, we're probably going to have to put these bale forks on that massy, but we need to go out, we need to go out fertiliser spreading in a minute. Up in a couple of fields, field 24 I think is one, 24, uh, field 2 as well. We haven't done field 8 because of, it's got that grass at the very top which I need to plough in. 
So we might leave them, I might do them size bales just off screen. We. Right, so let's go and put this in here. Yes, I've just left the gate open, but they know not to go out, so. I think we'll leave the weight on. Or should we take it off? Take it off. It's a little bit. It's easier just to hook back up to the scraper with it. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's the loader. The loader that she'll never come off. So, yeah, we didn't get it completely clean, but we got it clean enough. I'm happy with it now. It's not. It's not too much of a wreck. So that will go, we'll hook up that high spec in a minute to something. Well, actually, no, we'll do that, we'll do that one a bit later. We'll go out slurry spreading, maybe next, before next harvest. Right, they're all done. Are the cows happy? Uh, yes, they are. There's 211 litres of manure still in there, but I'm not too bothered. There's only 8% and that is 65,000 litres of slurry and there's 65, there's only about 6% it's uh, No, it said 8% didn't it? Right, let's get in our massy. Open the back window just to make life a bit easier for ourselves. Um, right, I want to line up with you a little bit. Get out. Hit X. So the volume only seems to come on when you look at it. Which I, I don't know whether that's me or it's like the actual thing bugging out, but. Right, so let's hook up to this. Click. Right, there we are. Now, before we leave, we're going to put the care wheels on. So you need to. Get onto the tractor and press 4 on your keyboard and you will get care wheels on. Now we're going to go down to field 24 first and go make sure that's fertilised. Field 19 is. But I couldn't remember if we got around to doing field 24. Probably not, but we'll go have a check. Go wee massy. Right, I don't know where we're going to start. We want to do the least amount of damage to the crops as we possibly can. So I think we go this way. Yeah, they haven't been fertilised, so we're okay. But with the massy with row crop wheels, this is going to make a life a little bit easier. Now this sprayer is a very big sort of sprayer, I'm hoping. Now spraying in real life, I think you have to do the headland first, isn't it? Uh, we are not on. Yes, we are. Right, I need to put the hood back on because I want to record a course recording. Start course recording. Nudge over a wee bit and go. Now I'm assuming you would put fertilizer down at this sort of stage. Stage sort of one of the growth. Um, I never did ar arable farming so I would never know. And I don't think I'm ever going to do it so I, I, ha I don't know. But if someone is out there who could tell me that would be very handy because then I could probably I could probably do this spraying a bit more realistically. I mean, yes, we're not on, 
we haven't got soil mods so it's not exactly essential to get it at the right time but it would be nice to do bits of it at the right time but I don't know when you would spray um, I'm assuming you'd spray once you'd spray well you'd spray one time on when you've just planted I'm assuming uh, and then a second time at like the first growth stage or whatever but I'm, I'm not too sure so if someone would be very kind to tell me how it's done then that would be more than appreciated and I'd probably end up saying your name and giving you a thank you for it let's go over like that sort of pull over here now the reason I'm doing it like this and I'm not going to do it all the time as me is because I do like the tram lines, yes, and we did buy this tractor to go out spraying, but it means we can set course by doing this. Um, and we can go feed animals or do some other jobs. Um, I, w I am going to do this from time to time because I do like to put tram lines in the field. They do look f fairly cool. Um, but even so, I could even go get a mod that puts puts them in. I think I have a mod that I'll actually put tram lines in, which I think we shall probably buy and um, use because I think it'd be pretty good to just let the have tram lines in the field all the time every time we spray. But if we had them in, we'd need to spray every time. It would have to be us spraying, not just letting cars play do it. Now I think these are things are on the they're, yeah these are on the second growth stage these ones because these ones were planted first, which is a bit of a pain because it now means that we have not got any. All right now what I want to what I kind of want to do is join these two up and then sort of so if we join that one to that one so if we join that one to there to there spin off the field like that. spin right the way around try not to get caught on the fence too much <laughs> come back onto the field yes this is probably destroying more crops than it should but I, th I literally just thought I'd done that wrong I should have gone just gone up and down but we've still got field 2 to do yet so we'll be uh, chugging along with that but yes so I'm kind of enjoying the spraying work but it's it's the right conditions it's nice and sunny which I suppose is not the right I was when I did my PA1 for a knapsack sprayer uh, it was you have it wasn't like a bright shouldn't do it in a bright bright sunny day you should do it on a day when you can just feel the wind on your face or it's just moving the leaves is the day to do it so I don't know what that I'm assuming that'd be the same for sprayers within farming land but I am not too sure and as this game does not have seasons then I don't know but we haven't got rain for a couple we haven't got re any more rain scheduled for a couple more days so we're okay we should be uh, good for a bit. Well, let's pull onto this headland here. Like that. And then branch back onto this one. And go again. So, oh, this would be good if this sprayer can do this whole entire field. This field's fairly long. I wouldn't say it's wide, it's more long than wide. Field 2 is just square ish. But yeah, I'm hoping to get a muck spreader. Uh, I, I, I want to go for a little side one. Now, the reason I want to go for a little side one is any tractor can use it then, because it's only 80 HP that's required, and all our tractors are above that. Well,. The, the mass is just below it, she's only 79, but still, it's still usable. Oh, 
fucking hell, it's going to miss a tiny bit into it. Yes, it is. Oh, that's really annoying. Just do another headland in that middle bit there. And boop. now, as cosplay doesn't remove crops, cosplay won't do this headland until we buy that special thing that does. So cosplay will literally just do as we've done, but there won't be any tram lines in the field. Whereas when we have the rotavator, I'm going to save this course as spraying, and then we can set this guy spraying and actually have the thing to make tram lines come with him. So as he goes out and sprays, we can have him driving up maybe behind him or near him. Right, I'm going to make a rough judgement here. Can this spray get all of this? Yes. I mean, it's missing the smallest bit ever, but I'm not too bothered. Right, so that's pretty good. It only used... It's not even used half a tank yet, so... We're okay. And B. So what we want to do is... We want to kind of stop the course. Kind of back where we started, so we're going to just trundle this way. We kind of want to branch out. But as long as we can get to somewhere near where we were. I'm just concentrating, that's why I'm not speaking too hard. Well, we're taking a bit of a tank with frames tonight. God. It is uh, not enjoying whatever's happening. I'm assuming something's updating. Whenever it really lags like that, something's updating. Or it's trying to load something. But I'm not too sure. Right, let's get out of this field and then we can stop the game. I've just wasted a load of crops there. Well, we can stop this course play course like that. Stop course, save, F24, super. Ing. Right, so that's going to be it from me today. Uh, thank you all for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more today. And I shall see all of you in the next video. Happy farming. Bye bye.